What's up guys, you got Cuter Critic, and today, I'm in someone's house. <laughs> Fresh and Meaty is the burger that I'm reviewing today. It's located on Florence and 8th Avenue in Inglewood, California. It's one of the oldest burger shacks in South Central. Like, this is the quintessential hood burger, for real. Yeah. So basically, I, I got the Double King Burger at Fresh and Meaty, a side of beautiful fries, and a very large diabetic lemonade. <laughs> I'm here today with my friend Dorian, who yeah. has a channel. What's the name of your channel, D? Uh, it's actually D Hill, the name. Um, and I have a series on YouTube that's uh, called Appreciate. I shot his first episode maybe an hour ago, and it's kind of an interview style format. You guys can check that out by clicking the annotation below and head over to Dorian's channel to watch my interview. And it's kind of a more of an introspective look at me than what you guys typically see me stuffing my face. So I think it's very interesting. It's time to stuff my goddamn face. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. So. Mm. Oh my God. That's a hood burger, for real. <laughs> it's so good, though. It is. It's so good. Wow. What is it about the hood burgers? They, it's like you can it's, taste the mustard. You can taste the mustard, but what I get is more of the seasoning. That's true. Like, they, this is definitely seasoned with seasoned salt, like the meat. That's one thing I like about homemade burgers is that you they typically season the meat before they cook it. A lot of times when you go to more fancy, like frou-frou burger places, they'll put the patty on the grill and then they'll like, once it starts cooking, they'll sprinkle a little salt or, mm -hmm. or pepper or whatever it is on here. This has the seasoning directly in the meat and you can taste it, it's so yeah, amazing. It's so good. How's that double? It's a lot of meat and it's real juicy. And this is the little one, which is not really little. Nope. At all. Go there hungry for sure. Yeah, for sure. The french fries, I don't know how they do it, but these fries are amazing. I haven't been here so long. I don't know if I've ever been to Fresh and Meaty. Yeah. I can't, like, I can't remember but it's been there since 1990, so I'd imagine at some point in my childhood I had to go just because I lived in the area. Mm -hmm. But there are four quintessential South Central LA hood burger spots. <laughs> Fresh and meaty, B&R Burger, which is in Hawthorne, so I guess that's right. technically not South Central. Yeah. Um, Fred's, which is on Slauson and Fourth, and Hawkins House of Burgers, which is... Uh, where is, that's in Watts, right? Yeah, it's yeah. in Watts. Wear bulletproof vests when you go to Watts. <laughs> mm. Hey, but that burger is amazing. It's worth it. Wow. You can't beat homemade burgers. And I know you like this burger too because they have a lot of onions on here. I love fresh <laughs> onions. That's one thing that I absolutely love on a burger. These are chopped up instead of being like just the rings. No, they're like this so they're long. They're real fine, but it's awesome. Very good. They're sweet. They're savory. There's a saltiness from the meat patty. There's the melty cheese oozing together, kind of binding everything. And then there's a little bit of vegetables to make you not feel so guilty about yourself. A little bit. A very little bit. You can't taste them at all. No. Another thing that these little mom and pop shops will do is they'll toast the bun and it adds that little crispy element to the whole thing. Instead of it being just kind of like a flat plain bread that gets soaked up with yeah. all the mayonnaise and mustard and whatever different burger dressings they have on it, they toast the bun and that still holds in like so much flavor. It does. It does. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. I haven't like Stevie Wonder in a food video ever. Today you have. Oh my god. These fries are pretty good though. 
These fries are delicious. You gotta go to Fred's, man. I know you keep telling me that. I'm trying to figure out if Fresh and Meaty and Fred's know each other. I mean, like, are they family or are they related? If you live in LA and particularly in South Central, somebody let me know, like, cause the fries are extremely similar. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. I can catch the Holy Ghost off this burger. Man, that's a lot. That's that is a lot. Working. You beat me. Yeah, now you slow. What the hell? Why are you beating me on my own channel? I beat Q eating the burger. Even though he had an extra patty, I eat slow. He usually scarfs his burgers down. I'm so disappointed. Ah. Anyway. I'm not really proud of that. That's it, guys. Fresh and meaty. A from Florence in South Central LA. Well, Inglewood, technically. It, yeah, sure. You know. You can't, if you live here, you know what we mean. But, you know, whatever. Wow. That's how you know it's good. So, check out Appreciate on Dorian's channel. The videos are up at the same time. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace. I'm having a burger, baby. I'm due sometime in July. <laughs> oh, man. Fresh and meaty will turn your ass into a fat piece of goo. You get that itis for sure. I'm ready to go to sleep. I should just, like, fall over. <laughs> you gotta do your thing first before you fall asleep. What thing? You're ending all your videos. Oh, they tell them to watch the three videos right here? Yeah, that thing. Oh, uh, right uh, here? Over there? Right here. Right there. Whatever, man. You delirious. I was able to take like a week-long vacation in San Diego and do absolutely nothing. Well, eat everywhere. <laughs> Because, you know, that's what I do. I go around and eat all over the place, and I've been doing that since God knows how long. The burger crawl came out of me having a food blog. I started my blog in July of 2013 while in San Diego, just kind of literally eating everywhere I could. And... I went through that whole dynamic and whole phase of being a new food blogger. That came with a lot of media invites, and a lot of media dinners, and a lot of just that, all piled on at once.